Purdue University is an international leader in technology transfer and startup creation. One of those startups is IF Battery, which is developing an instantly rechargeable battery that is cost-effective, safer, and environmentally friendly. If employed in the automobile industry for electric and hybrid vehicles, recharging would be a process similar to refueling a car that would only take a few minutes that could expedite the adoption of electric and hybrid vehicles by making the process of keeping a car fully charged. The startup was co-founded by John H. Cushman, Distinguished Professor of Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Sciences and Professor of Applied Mathematics, Eric Nauman, Professor of Mechanical and Biomedical Engineering, and Mike Matertes, Doctoral Research Assistant in Physics. One of the big weaknesses of most batteries is the breakdown of the membrane over time. So when the membrane breaks down, then the battery is no longer functional. In our case, we don't have a membrane, so we don't, we don't have to worry about that problem. You've got water on one side, ethanol on the other side, some salt in it, and you've got a metal on one side, which is aluminum or zinc, both extremely inexpensive. You don't have to mess with charging things up. You pump electrolytes into your car, so you have holding tanks in your car for the electrolytes. And so you come into the gas station, and you deposit the electrolyte that's already in there, it's spent, and you just simply refill up your tanks. Consulting with the group is Dennis Evans, Professor Emeritus of Chemistry. If batteries technology eliminates the massive infrastructure investment that complicates the adoption of electric cars with existing technologies. It is simply much safer. It doesn't, it doesn't really have any explosive potential like the lithium batteries can. Um, it's, it's a much safer, but it still has a very high power density that's key. Um, from an environmental perspective, you can generate these fluids and then take it back to whatever uh, local energy source you have, whether that's wind turbines, hydroelectric power, solar energy, and reconstitute the electrolytes. So you don't have to you don't have to burn anything, you don't have to add to the, to the greenhouse gases that are already there. These chemicals are extraordinarily cheap. Like, compared to the, the lithium and, and some of the other technologies that out there, the materials that we work with are, are almost free, or close, close. You can instantly recharge your car as fast as you would, you would uh, pump gas at the gas station and take advantage of the, of the gas station infrastructure that's already there, right? You convert one pump at a time as the demand increases. If Battery has licensed some of the technology through the Purdue Research Foundation Office of Technology Commercialization, if battery also has patent applications of its own. We've got a half a dozen chemistries that do pretty much what we want to do. We were fortunate enough to get some capital to get us started, and we've gone a long ways with that. But we will need further financing, because what's going to be holding us up is manpower, essentially. The compounds are not expensive, but the, uh, the rate at which we can put these things into actual production is going to be limited based on our manpower. To find more information about this and other Purdue technologies, visit prf.org slash OTC.